How to sculpt acrylic nails effortlessly, like my way. His wave with no effort. <laughs> Greg is gonna show you how to do this right now. When it comes to the fundamentals of sculpting, you have to understand that there's always an easier way to create perfection in the least amount of effort. I'm gonna demonstrate how you're going to do that with acrylic by focusing on some key points around the cuticle area, the self-leveling nature of acrylic, and where to pull at the right points. This is gonna show you how to achieve perfection with the least amount of effort. So what I've done is I've, I've set up a finger here that already has a tip. So whether you glue a tip on or you sculpt a tip on, it doesn't matter, right? But the first two nails is where I'm actually going to demonstrate how to set it down, how to hold the finger, the pressure you're going to be using with your brush around the cuticle area, um, how much uh, you, time you should wait before you actually set it down, um, the self-leveling nature of the acrylic and where to actually pull it so that you can actually build an upper arch, right, without actually having to force it. You should allow it to work for you, not against you. All right, so I'm gonna be working with Cover Flamingo. Right, I have my liquid, my dish, I have my wiping pad, right? And what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to pick up a bead where um, I'm going to get the best self-leveling nature Right, I want the bead to be able to work for me. Right, So one of the things I want to be able to address is when you're holding the finger, you can see that I'm actually holding the finger down at an angle. I'm not going to be holding it flat. Right? I need it at an angle so that the product is going to run from the cuticle area towards the free edge. This is also going to give me the ability to set the bead down at the right angle. So you can see, right, that I'm not setting it flat down like this, right? The finger is angled so that when I actually set the bead, the majority of the product is going to be here, which is going to allow me to use the tip of the brush to touch around the perimeter of the nail as the bead starts to move from this point to this point. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna submerge my brush. I need to get a nice amount of liquid. I'm going to bounce, 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 bounce. You can see one, two, three, four. Okay, so that is important right there, right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you pick up a bead and you get a nice pearl and you set it down immediately, sometimes it could get away from you you want it to be able to move at a really nice pace, okay? So again, I'm gonna submerge my brush. I'm gonna barely tap the side. I'm gonna bounce, 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 bounce. And then I'm gonna count one, two, three, and around the four count is when I set this. Notice that I can immediately start working around the perimeter of the nail as the bead starts to move forward. Now here's the thing. This is where I'm going to start pulling from the corner and the front of the bead. Notice from the corner and the front of the bead. So not only am I going to get it nice and tight around here, you can see the shape, right? Naturally form. And what I'm doing is I'm actually bringing the front of the bead into the lower part of the nail. I don't wanna to try to drag the whole thing towards the tip, especially if I'm working with something this long. I'm going to build that in two. All right, let me show you again on this nail before we move to the fully sculpted free edge. Okay, so again, I'm going to submerse my brush, okay? And I'm just going to pretend that we're doing this before I actually pick it up. I'm gonna pick up my bead, I'm going to count one, two, three, and around four. I'm going to set that down. As soon as I set that down, I'm going to be using the tip of the brush to walk it tight around the perimeter of the nail 
as the bead starts to move down this way. Now, as the bead starts moving down in this direction, I'm going to use the very, very tip of the brush and I'm going to start pulling from that corner, from the front, all the way to the corner. Now, it doesn't matter whether you start from this side or this side, as long as you're sealing those edges, right? And it's shaping naturally, this is really going to self-level into perfection to create a beautiful upper arch or an apex naturally. You don't wanna to try to have to use the body, the brush, to try to move it into place, okay? So let's go through that. I'm going to submerse my brush, right? Get a lot of liquid. I'm going to bounce, 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 bounce. One, two, three, four. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to use the tip of the brush. I'm going to start working it around the perimeter, around the perimeter. And then look, right here from the corner and then from the front and then this corner. And I'm constantly really, I'm monitoring it because I wanna make sure the bead is running down towards the front. You can see how it naturally shapes you can see how tight it is around the edges. I'm not pulling it from the back end. I need to make sure that the product is going to self-level past the center, right? Because we're talking length now, right? Naturally. Okay, so if you're going to be trying to do this on a tip that has been either sculpted or glued on, it's the same thing, right? It's the first step to your successful overlay. All right, so I'm going to submerse my brush. I'm going to bounce, 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 bounce. One, two, three, at four, I slowly press it on firmly. I use the tip of the brush to walk around the perimeter of the nail as it starts to move down. From the corner, I pull from the front I pull from the corner, I pull, making sure that it does not run down onto the sides. Now look, as you can see, it naturally shaping, right, into a beautiful upper arch. Notice my brush. Don't worry about the front of the nail. Keep using this part of your brush to slightly start feathering it in to the free edge. You can see how nice and tight everything gets. What this is going to leave you with is getting one more bead, right? To basically set into the area that is missing product. And then all you have to do is use the body of the brush to guide it into the area that is missing, right? Use the body to sculpt it into perfection. And as you can see, you're going to be building a nail, right? Into perfection with the least amount of effort. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a like and also subscribe to our channel, free education, tons of videos that you can watch. You can head into our insane library and get educated on nails right now.